boy does tip baiting suck. Obviously. Oh, hello again, fellow Spark Drivers. Hope you're doing well. Staying safe out there. So I was tip baited uh, the other day, which is very frustrating. And I was thinking about it because I've talked about this in other videos. One of the biggest problems is that we don't know necessarily when something went wrong with a, a delivery, with a drop-off. Because a customer can rate us, but we don't see any notes. And I thought about it more, and I was thinking, a good indicator that you've been tip-baited is when the customer re removes the entire tip. So this one, for example, the other day was $7, and I didn't get a penny of it. And I remember it was my last drop-off of the day, and everything seemed to go fine. Nothing, no leaks, the bags were in good condition, uh, there were no delivery notes. And I dropped off, left, and didn't think anything of it. And they removed the entire tip. So the point is, to me, a good indicator you've been tip-baited is when you don't get any of the tip. Now, if something goes wrong, you show up and let's say something was broken you didn't know about, or they were just unsatisfied with something, I can understand removing some of the tip because they're not aware that we're independent contractors, which hopefully they'll resolve that one day. Like, hey, by the way, your driver is now our employee. They're an independent contractor and they didn't shop this order. Let them know when we've shopped the orders because that can make a difference. But anyways, back to my original point. Because there was one time customer removed part of the tip. So it was like $5 and I got three for whatever reason. But with tip baiting, it's pretty clear when they remove the entire thing. So out of that $7, if I'd gotten like $2, that tells me they were dissatisfied with something. But to remove the entire thing, and you hear about it more and more, and it's like, you know, we appreciate the customers and everything. But tip baiting is stupid. It's a, it's a bad move on their part. You can get blacklisted. Because, you know, we can remember, you know, a sequence of drop-offs and that. We'll be like, wait, nothing was wrong with that order. Everything was fine. I dropped off. I followed the delivery notes, if any. So what was the problem? And eventually, it goes to the other drivers and that. But over time, you're just going to lose out because maybe somebody won't take your your order for whatever reason and well for tip baiting or something else but it's just a really stupid move because you lure people in to accept the offer and then you remove the tip and you're only hurting yourself because there are some crazy people out there and in these times these gas prices I mean I think you get the point. It's like, don't risk everything. Don't be stupid like that. But, again, we don't know what went wrong. If something did go wrong, if you're just tip baiting, you just put that tip and then you remove it. Or if something wasn't to your satisfaction, we don't, that's not communicated to us. But the point of this video is, like I said, it's a good indicator. They remove the entire tip. Because if something's wrong, it's like they remove a portion of it. And you're like, oh. But then we still don't know what went wrong. What didn't you like? So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like this video up. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Past 100 subscribers, which is awesome. I appreciate all of you. All of your feedback, views, everything. So I'll see you next time. Keep on sparking. Oh,